The book of Judges, please, chapter 13. I will lie. Yes. Thy people shall be my people. My, my. And thy God, my God. Yes. Where thou diest, I'll will die. I die. Yes. And there will I be buried. Yes. The Lord do so to me, and more also, if aught but death part thee and me. What a godly woman. Now notice the two sisters here that were married in that family. Husbands both died. Yep. No children. Yep. No future, same situation, but one made sure she's gonna be steadfast. She's gonna endure some things. And then when women have to endure some things sometimes, they have children that are wayward, isn't that right? Yes, sir, yes, sir. People, uh, you know, they might talk about you sometimes. Yes, yes. 
and you're under pressure being a mother or a grandmother, and it's tough. It is difficult being a woman these days. But a godly woman can handle it. Mm. Got the power of God. Yeah. Again, she's steadfast, unmovable. She'll endure some things. You can trust her. She's reliable. Yes. Two women years ago, one woman, they were sisters, and the one man had a business. And he was quite active in the business. But he would count the, the money during the day and he found out the money was short. Found out his wife was stealing money from the cash register mm -hmm. behind his back. Oh, Tearing the house down financially. But the other sister, the husband, trusted her. Oh, she was godly. And this man adored his wife. Yeah. Because she was godly. Mm -hmm. And that godliness made her beautiful to him. He was just swept up. Nose open, just gone over this woman. <laughs> she had it in the palm of her hand, so to speak. Mm -hmm. It was a mutual submission. She said, honey, I want you to be home every day at, before 9 p.m. Someone said, I'm grown. Who are you? I'm, I'm a grown woman. But if she was there every day at 9 p.m. And the husband was just shocked. She'd been there. Somebody said, honey, wife comes with me for, we went for a ride to a store. It was the first store. A mink stole store. He went in there and she said, honey, pick the one you want. She said, what? <laughs> he spent about 13 grand on a coat <laughs> for the woman he adored. A godly woman, brother, is a blessing. Yeah. And she put that thing on and she just light up. <laughs> light up. But then one Ruth here, she was steadfast. Amen. Rely, we can trust her. She can have her hand in the till. Patient. She said, look, my God is your God. Where you go, I'm going. And when you die, I'll die. She had nothing. No husband, no husband. She said, look, I'm going to stay with this thing. And then when God blessed her, did he? Yes, he did. Read the story if you have time. Read the story if you have time. Yeah. Who she married? You know his name? Boaz. 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 You know who Boaz was? Grandfather. The grandfather of Jesse. You know who Jesse was? David's father. David's father. Mm -hmm. So she was the great great grandmother of King David. Mm -hmm. She left for a while. Got a little bit off in her mind. Didn't know what to do. But she said, wait a minute. Let, let me uh, reconnect some things. Mm -hmm. I'm going for truth. <laughs> I'm going for God. Yeah. I'm, going to, I'm going to endure some things. Yeah. It's going to be hard sometimes. Yeah. Tough sometimes. But I'm going to endure. I'm going all the way. Yeah. Yeah. <coughs> so we call her a godly woman. Yeah. I want to read it in, 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 one more time. If you're a single man, if you want to have a nice home, yeah, she might be pretty, Beautiful, but if she's not godly, you got a problem on your hands. I'm trying to tell you. Right. Make sure she's godly. Right. Thank God, make sure she's saved. Right. Make sure she loves God, and she'll be a blessing right. all right. of your life. One more time, please. And Ruth said. Now, most men look for how she looks. Isn't that right? True. Let the church say amen. Amen, amen. amen brother. And amen. poor women will do anything. To look good. Mm, they wear high heels five inches tall, can hardly walk. <laughs> They'll pluck their eyelashes out and draw some new ones in. Yes. They'll put an earring on their tongue or a note on their tongue. Amen. They'll cut their hair bald on this side and bald on that side. Isn't that right? Yeah, right. Yeah, They'll do whatever to get noticed. Yeah, right. But the Bible says that God beautifies. What? Me, hey, salvation. salvation. Amen. A woman as godly is a beautiful thing in the air. She's beautiful. True. She's beautiful. Because she got something else working with her. Yes. 
There's an internal glow. There's a warmth there. She ain't no pushover. She isn't a pushover, praise the Lord. But amen, she's, she'll endure some things. Yeah, yeah. She'll take some things. Come on, amen. She's not a gossip. Thank God she's a prayer warrior. Praise the Lord. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, man. Amen, brother. Amen. She needs to rely on her. That's yeah, right. You can trust her. Yes, sir. You can, amen. She's dependable, thank God. Yeah, she if she also. say yes, she's going to be there, she'll be there or she'll call you. Look, I can't make it. That's yeah, right. She knows her limits. That's yeah, right. She's able and willing for the power of God. Right. Read one more time, please. And Ruth said, yes. Entreat me not to leave thee, right. or to return from following after thee. For whither thou goest, thou go. I will go. Yes. And where thou lodgest, right. I will lodge. Yes. Thy people shall be my people, and thy God my God. You know, there was a story in the Bible of a man called Caesarea. He was a warrior. And he had an army of 900 iron chariots. And when he'd come to battle, the people would, they were fearful. So here he came in to take Jerusalem's people. Brought them chariots of 900 iron. And it began to rain. Chariots couldn't move. Yeah. So Syria ran. Mm -hmm. Guess where he ran? To a woman's tent. And he said, uh, if anybody come looking for me, tell them to see me. She said, okay. So she laid down and uh, he asked for some water, but she gave him some milk. Curdled milk, probably made it heavy. She gave him the milk, put the blanket over him, and he went to where? Sleep. So now don't forget now, this man had been uh, rough on the people for Jerusalem, killing them, abusing them for years. So he was an enemy of God. But this woman was a godly woman. So when he went to sleep, yeah, he went to sleep. Yes, he was. She went and got a nail. Yeah. Did you all know that? Yeah. And she put the nail on his temple. Did you all know that? Yes. And hammered the nail through his temple, yeah, through the ground. Yeah. So one godly woman saved Israel by the power of God. No, Amen. And when they came looking, she said, there he is. Mm. There he is. So they want thank God for godly, reliable women. Mm -hmm. You know, I knew a lady years ago called Sister Ford. I was about maybe nine or ten in Sunday school. And every Sunday school, Sister Ford was there. And I was hell possessed. I didn't care much, but God used her to touch my heart. She was a sweet person. A loving person. And that's been 50 years ago, but a godly woman makes her mark in someone's life. Mm -hmm. She has an effect on someone's life. Yeah, right. And she probably didn't know it, but she's the reason why I'm where I am today, because of her sweetness. Everybody's not sweet, you know that? True. Yeah. Some people are bitter, you know some people are bitter. Yeah, mean, yeah. cross acting, mm -hmm. judgmental. She was not like she was godly. Yeah, right. And if I, when I go to heaven, I want her to be the gate and let me in. I love to see her. I can see her face now. She said, Prince, I see Central Four. Because if she's around, it's godliness. Mm. Thank God it's goodness. Because yeah. God has made her what she is. One more time, please. Read on. And Ruth said, yes. Entreat me not to leave thee. Don't push me away. Or to return from Sometimes Sometimes godly mothers are pushed away sometimes. That's true, brother. <laughs> Your friends push you away. Yeah, man, brother. They'll try to push you down. Did you all know that? Yeah, right. Yeah, man. Push you out of it sometimes. Yeah, they will. But, yeah, man, brother. Godly woman, she stays and endures. Yeah. You push her aside, she'll keep coming on back. Amen. Yeah, keep on going. Amen. Yeah, you push her down, she'll get back up. Yeah, yeah right. Maybe with tears, she'll get back up. Yes, yeah, she will. You cannot hold a godly woman down. Yeah. 
she'll get back up every time. Why? Because she's godly. She's strong in the power of God. Yes, yes, she's patient. Yes, right. She put up with a whole lot sometimes. You all know that. Yes, right. she does. But her godliness and her power from God maintains her status. Yes, she does. She stays on all the time. Yeah. In the power of God. So Ruth said, look, I'm going. Be on, please. Entreat me not to leave thee, yes. or to return from following after. Verse eighteen, please. Verse eighteen, no, no, no. When she saw that she was steadfast, when she was what? Steadfast. When she was what? Steadfast. But no, look, steadfastness is not just a feeling. Mm. It's other people. All oh, they can see it. You can see when they're steadfast. Amen. You can see when they're nailed down right. Mm -hmm. And when Naomi saw, she's not going nowhere. Mm. Can God say to you, oh, they ain't going nowhere. Amen. Can God say in your situation, oh, no, they're not going nowhere. Well, they might leave. No, they're not. No, no. Well, they might back up. No, they're not. No. Well, they might leave church. Not them. Because right. I saw what? They're steadfast. Right. I saw their reliability. She's not going nowhere. Mm. And I'm going to bless her too, thank God. Amen. I'm going to help her out, thank God. Because the Bible says he is a rewarder and the does what? Diligently seek him. Seek him. The godly woman. Yes, she's steadfast. When she set her mind to something, it's not ostentatious or wild. It's just a quiet endurance. The song says, I mean to go right on. Until the what? Proud. Proud that's it, I'm going on. Mm -hmm. One woman I knew years ago, she <laughs> married prematurely. And he was a violent man. Mm -hmm. I knew them both personally. And she would come to church, he would drag her out by her hair mm -hmm. and try to cut her hair off with scissors. Yeah. Embarrass her talk about her in public. And brother, she he would leave her with other women, all of that, and I would talk to her. Yes, I would talk to her. She said, well, he's on vacation now, meeting prison. But never uh, across a bad word. And I was amazed by that. Amen. Went through that for years and years and years and got the woman. Yeah. Many times, thanks to God, the message is not always spoken, but in the examples, you all know that. Right. When you watch a person all right. under pressure, yeah. the godly woman is going to endure every single time. Amen. Another, before another lady I knew years ago, her firstborn, I can see you now, her firstborn went to prison for about 25 years. Mm -hmm. First offense. Yeah. First offense. My Lord. She was at the uh, fellowship meeting. Thank God for his goodness. I'm going to go like, mm. what? Thank God for his love for me. That's like your, your, your baby's in jail. Mm. Thank God for he's been so good. Hallelujah. Thank God, thank God. I said, now, that must be a what? Godly woman. Yeah, right. God, Most of them complain. Lord, why me? My child, my baby, why me? No, no. Praise the Lord. Yeah, man. Thank God. Thank you, Jake. Yeah, man. If that big was some good preaching at me, but my preaching came from the balcony. Yeah, right. The little yeah, woman whose heart was broken for a baby, but yet, praise the Lord, thank God. Yeah, man. And that did much for my soul, mm -hmm. letting me know, even in those dark situations, dark mm -hmm. situations, yes, depressing situations, yeah, right. I can still praise the Lord. Mm -hmm. Being a godly man, watching a godly woman. Oh, but well, how did they become godly? They weren't born godly. No, they weren't born godly. Amen. Because the Bible says, for all have what? Amen. And none what? Short. So we all know that. But the woman decided not just going to go to church or be religious, 
or just get sprinkled or baptized, I'm going to get what? Saved. Amen. Saved from sin. Amen. Amen. Side note, it's good being saved, isn't it? Amen. Amen. I said it's good being saved. It's good being saved. Yes. Yes. Thank God. It's good being saved. It's like having a, 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 a bar of gold in your pocket. It's good to be saved. Yes. Yes. Salvation brings hope. It brings change. It brings courage, boldness, inspiration, strength, and love in salvation. She decided one day, oh my God, that I'm going to say, I'm going to leave sin alone. Because the way of sin is still death. And she knows that. She understands that. So she asked God to forgive her of sin and to change her life. See the man being in Christ? He's a what? New creature. All things what? Away. All things what? Become new. And that happened to her instantaneously. She was changed overnight, overnight, whatever. Became a new person. She was happy about that. She saw things clear. On the right path. Pray for her. But then she said something else. She would have a tendency to maybe flare up her. Get mad. Mm -hmm. Tie off the handle. Yeah. Go too far in things. Yeah. Talk too much sometimes. Amen? Yeah, man, brother. Yeah, yeah. So something else had to be done. True. And she yeah, senses the Bible yeah. says, this is the will of God, even your what? Sanctification. Yeah. Right. And that removes that nature that promotes and propagates and perpetuates sin. And she went on and had that removed and put the whole in its place. And now she got power. She knows what to do and has the power to do it. Praise the Lord. Amen. One more verse, Ezekiel 11, 19. So yes, she knows what to do and now got the power to do it. The godly woman. That's what happened. Thank God she got saved. We don't want to get sanctified. Amen. Read on, please. And I will give them one heart. I'm going to give them one heart. And I will put a new spirit within you. A new spirit within them. And I will take the stony heart this out is, of their this, flesh. This is does. So it does. So it's how, how the Holy Ghost works. Read on, please. And will give them a heart of flesh. A heart of flesh. Read on. That they may walk in my statutes. That they may walk in my statutes. And keep my ordinances. Yes. And do them. And right. they shall be my people, yes. and I will be their God. See, they get saved as they say. So they can know what to do and have the power on board to do it consistently. Amen. Amen. Day in, day out. Thank God for the godly woman. Oh, you are a blessing on earth. Mm -hmm. Oh, you are. We can trust you. Thank God you're reliable. Amen. You're patient. And you are steadfast. Susanna Wesley. Now, Susanna was a child of a pastor. And she was a little spoiled. Uh, you know, she had a, a way about her. And she had a very, very sharp tongue. Anybody got a sharp tongue sometime? Mm -hmm. And she married, uh, from a married pastor. But sometimes she would cut him up about the bills. She would tell him to him, cut him up. Just a few words. That's all you need. Just a choo choo. And that would do it. He leave away this bleeding. So that the more him, he went in debt because of that. Ended up in jail. So that was up twice. But then Charles began to move out. Charles got it was God. And he said, Mama, you know, this is that you can't do it all. So Susanna changed. And oh, she was a blessing from now on. Her words were sweet. Those times she just stayed quiet. And her presence was enough. Nineteen children, the last two were Charles and John Wesley. Godly woman. So many, brother. Lydia, remember Lydia in the Bible? Where was she one afternoon time? Praying. Praying. And God opened up her understanding, the Bible says. So if it's truth, he said, look, if I'm worthy, come to my house. I'm going to start a church there. And they did. And she 
she went on to be a blessing. Yes, okay. So if you're a God woman today, I want to encourage you. Mm -hmm. The devil told you you're not nothing. Mm -hmm. Nobody cares about you. You're not a help. The devil's a liar, as you all know that. Mm -hmm. And the bull not in truth. Yes. And he was not in heaven either. All right? So you know that he was not in heaven either. That's true, brother. No devil's in heaven. That's yeah, right. So, so right, bro. Lord, help me to maintain my goddess. If you're a grandmother, amen, a mother, a single woman, whatever you are, and you're godly, oh, what a blessing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank God, what a jewel you are. Yeah. How precious you are. My Lord. Oh, and you can't replace the Hope Diamond, a little bit tether on that, to go see it, to even view it, costs 5000 You got to pay the guards and all that. You're worth 25 of those hope diamonds as you want to let a godly woman. Amen. Amen. You're beautiful. Amen. Thank God you're reliable. And the devil is after you. Don't you want to know that? Yes, no, he's after you. Because yeah. if you get a woman to leave God or to go against God, it affects the family. Oh, yes, it does. Yeah, it affects the family. The devil knows that. The philosopher said, he who Rocks the cradle, what? Rules the world. You know, people many times don't like the Bushes, but I give her credit. Sure. She had a, pre a son that was a president. That's right. Grandson was a governor. Another son was a president. So we got what? Three pre two presidents and a governor in the same lifetime. You can judge it. But godly women are a blessing. Let's stand this afternoon. Whether you're 60 or 70 or 50, godly women, don't let your family down. Don't let your children down. Situation, this place or that place. The mother is uh, having some issues. See, when the mother affects, that affects the children too. That affects the children. And the grandchildren. And the great grandchildren. There you go. Has an effect. And so you play a very pivotal part in your family generations to come. One more example. There was a prostitute who sold her body to whomever. But when she saw truth, she said, look, I want this. And Joshua said, if she stands right, she can come with us. Rahab came with them. Left Jericho and came out. Part of the Jewish nation. Married, had children. And if you read Christ's lineage, you'll find his great, 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 great grandmother was Rahab the Harlot. Beautiful situation. Exciting situation. Of what? A godly woman. She can reach far, far, far into the future. To generations to come. Because of what she did or what she did not do. You can be seated and we'll say a word of prayer for the godly woman. That she might maintain her precious status. Delicate, sensitive, enduring. And God gave them special grace too. Yeah, they had special grace. He got them special grace. Because they have to uh, bear so much. Many times the husband will leave off. Leave it by herself. Like my mother-in-law left her with 10. She said, look, if it was hot with me and you, how would you leave? He said, don't call me. Leave me alone. Left her with 10. Yes. 10. And she tried to raise 10 children, four or five boys. God 
the woman. And when I met her, I begged her to come to me. And I begged on my knees. I said, please, please come down here with us. I don't call everybody mom. I just don't. I call her mom, though. I said, mom, you want to come by? You got to ask me to come on by. You do what you want to do. Can she look with me? I said, yeah, she go. Come get her. You can ask me. Do what you want to do. What do you need? Do what you want to do. Because there was a godliness in there. She wasn't no push over now. That's true now. <laughs> but she was godly. She's she been gone about 20 years, but she met an engram of my life. Just for those briefly, I didn't know long. <coughs> but the godliness just endured you to her. A connection was there. And we have some here in this building too. Hold on to it. Whatever it costs you. It might cost you home. It might cost health. Your life, whatever. But godliness will take you a long way. The benefits are out of this world. <coughs> We're going to pray for you this morning. Because you can do it. You ain't going to worry about God brought you this far. Yeah. You think you brought yourself this far? You didn't do it. God, God brought you. Yeah. Step by step. Christ had a mother. Yep. A loving mother named Mary. Mm -hmm. okay. And he had an aunt, Elizabeth, who was a godly mother. So he had a godly aunt and a godly mother. Yep. Timothy had a mother named Lois. Mm -hmm. So wherever you see a successful man serving God and wife somebody, amen, amen. And that's a blessing. So we have some here.